So following on from the previous two videos, we were trying to find the limit of this as x approaches 0. And, uh, and we spent some time and we came up with a series for, for tan of x, which was this. So now we need to get, uh, well we've got, we've got the series for sine, so sine would be this series here. And then we, uh, we now need to get sine take away tan. We, well we've got our tan here, so we would put this series into here. And then we would put this series into here. So it's simply a matter of this take away this. It's really a matter of sine x take away tan of x. So, so this this whole thing take away this whole thing here will be x take away x. So that would then give us zero, and then and then it would be this take away this, which would then give us this. Because hang on, if you look at this, um, x to the power of three, x to the power of three over three factorial, and you've got your minus here for your minus and then you take away remember it's this thing take away this thing so you take away this thing here which will be x to the power of 3 over 3 so we need to get the two denominators to be the same so imagine 3 factorial as being 3 times 2 um, times 1 so so times top and bottom here by by 2 so that will then give us this uh, times 2 that will then give us this so now it's uh, Negative, uh, negative this, uh, take away this, so that would be a negative 3x to the power of 3 over, over 3 times 2. These two will cancel each other out, leaving you with negative a half, leaving you with negative a half, uh, x to the power of 3. Well, the point here is that, um, the point here is that this take away this would then give us this. So now, uh, now the next one. So we need to get this, uh, this take away this. Remember, we're doing sine sine of x take away tan of x. So now it's now it's um, it's this take away this. That would then give us this because um, because x to the power of five over five factorial uh, take away this. So it would be take away two x to the power of five over 15. So imagine 5 factorial as uh, as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So 15 is this thing here. So to get the two denominators to be the same, I would need to times top and bottom by 8. So I need to times top and bottom here by, by 8. So that would then give us x to the power of 5 over 5 factorial. Take away this times this will be 16. 16 x to the power of 5 over uh, over 5 factorial. Now, now, now that the two denominators are the same, we can get this, take away this, so that will be minus 15x to the power of 5. That will be minus 15x to the power of 5 over 5 factorial. The point here is that this, take away this, will then give you this. So now, now this whole thing here will then become this. Now what, when, when it comes to limits, it is always this that's causing your problem, uh, causing you problems. Because as x tends to zero, you're dividing by by something that's that by by zero. You're dividing by zero. It is this thing that's causing all the problems. So if you look at this, if you factor out x to the power of three, if you factor out x to the power of three, so looking at this, if you factor out x to the power of three, um, uh, then then these two will cancel each other out. These two will cancel each other out. Leaving you with with uh, with this series, leaving you with with this series. Now, as x tends to zero, um, the numerator here will, will tend towards zero. So, 15 times zero will be zero. This whole thing here will be zero. This thing here will be zero. This thing here will be zero. All the way to infinity will be zero. So, all that you're left with is uh, negative a half. So, the limit is negative a half. Okay.